What about the children? To ignore is so easy. So many innocent children who choose the wrong way. What about the children? Remember when we were children? And if not for those who loved us and who cared enough to show us, where would we be? Today, mm, mm, mm. that song makes me cry every time I hear it because it's such a true song. And um, a lot of us um, that are parents, grandparents, great grandparents, probably when you get to grandparent and, and great grandparent age, you begin as an, a natural evolvement to begin to be more reflective of the life that you've lived. So I'm going to have to do this story about um, Royce Reed and um, little Braylon because it's very important. It's a lot of our families that live like this. A lot of families are experiencing this and nobody want to talk about it. Um, we are not making the appropriate sacrifices for our children, especially our sons. And then when they end up embarrassing us um, on the end of uh, a sexual predator or um, a child molester, we almost exonerate ourselves from that, even though it's a direct result of how your parenting skills are. It's a direct result of it. And those are the things that most people don't want to give an account for. Well, I did that. And, and, and I told him that. Well, Royce was in trouble because they asked her the stipulation behind this young man's uh, uh, um, therapy and treatment was to make sure that he's not alone with any kids unsupervised. That means you can't be downstairs and the kids are upstairs. It don't work like that because your child is a molester and you love him because he yours, but some of his victims, parents might want to hurt your kid. You know, and I think a a lot of us think we're going to be young forever and we think our kids is going to be young forever. So we don't really think about those things, what's going to happen in the future. I know a lot of parents that allow their kids to just play all up in the room by themselves and never come up and see what they're doing, never check on them, just leave them up there. And then just assume that they're not having any kind of sexual play, even though your ass is having sexual play and they watching you. They watching you when you smoke. They watching you when you drink. All the stuff that your kids, you thinking your kids ain't watching you do. They they dead uh, zooming and targeting in on your behavior. And what happens is if they don't catch them when they early, um, nine out of ten times, um, the you know the brokenness is just going to land him in jail, dead, you know, or um, you know, what is it, uh, jail, dead, or um, just out of their mind, institutionalized, same thing. So. I want to be sure that I handle this cautiously because, you know, when um, when when she re 
turned herself into the police. It was due to a third degree felony charge of child neglect. Now, according to recently released documents and details involving the case, revealed that her underage son's allegedly inappropriate conduct conduct with a minor led to her being hit with that felony. Because a lot of us think we can do what we want to do. They ain't going to run my house. They ain't going to tell me what to do. Well, certain things you got to run your house. And I, I agree with you. But how are you running your house? Are you leaving pornography all around for your little children to look at? Are you letting them have free access to the internet without your supervision to not see what you're doing? All these things that I, I look at, and when you tell people that they get real upset because they, they, you, they tell you right away, don't tell me, can't tell nobody what to do with their kids. But as a mandated reporter, I make sure I let people understand that. Not saying that I'm going to report you. I'm saying it to say, you know what? They got certain rules in this count, county, or excuse me, county, town, state. When you run children, when you got children, that this is how you should do. And I'm just trying to tell you what those rules are. Because if anybody see that part of your rules, they'll take your children away from you. And it won't be nothing you can do about it. It'll be your name versus the whole damn state. You can't win that. That fight is usually a lost fight. So when I look at those court documents, and it, it, it touches home because the last person that he made victims were actually, um, it caused them to act out so much sexually was really Royce's boyfriend's son. So when you're in a situation where you have a lover or friend or a, a, a fiance or you know somebody you see and they have other children, these are always things you have to look at. And people will get mad at me because what I would do is I always made a difference when you when I'm dealing with children. I'm always nosy. And a lot of people think I was overprotective. And that's okay because that's my job. And my job is not to continue to, um, uh, 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 to allow uh, people I know that doesn't that have parenting skills that need to be desired, um, you know, uh, in a in a situation where they can make decisions for my child, okay, or my grandchild, or something like that. And that's very important because people will be looking at you. They'll be like, oh, they'll be okay. They upstairs. They all upstairs. But you got to be the one to stand up and say, okay, well, I'm going to go and say, see what they're doing. That's very important. Sneak up on them. I love that. Sneak up on them. Do it. Some parents don't do it. I had a boy that told me that his mother, and he was like 13 or 14, and she owned the property. And that she allowed, she lived upstairs. It was a duplex. She lived upstairs and she let her boys, which were not adults, which were young men, uh, teenagers, barely. And this is what he said. He said that his mom let them live downstairs. She allowed them to have sexual activity. She allowed them to do all kinds of stuff. While she was upstairs and leaving her boys downstairs. Now, that is a very bad parenting skill. Or um, these, you know, don't, these are the kind of things that will allow the county to get involved in your, in your um, situation. Because that's not healthy. And in fact, it's almost like you are instigating for them to be sexually um, acting out. You don't, you don't need to instigate that. That stuff is going to happen on its own. So when I see parents who instigate um, and encourage their children's sexual activity, I have a problem with that. That's why I had a problem with Boosie. Because that's not how any of this is supposed to work to be healthy. Even when we were young, we found a way. 
Of course, you didn't put kids in jail like you do now because it was all part of discovery and, some, you know, somebody pop you on your butt and keep on doing it. However, there had to be some lines drawn in the sand because it was that kind of behavior that was disrespectful to the uh, to the victim, the, the little girls or the boys, whoever was being uh, uh, aggressed upon. So you have to take responsibility when you have a child that you have allowed to either watch you and your boyfriend have sex. You, you, you know, you having so much sex and so much stuff going on in your house that your kids are being molested and you don't know because you run in the streets or because you got your own life and you letting your kids watch you have sex. You know, her son, this Braylon, he has a history of sexual conduct with mis, uh, with sexual conduct, inappropriate conduct with kids smaller than him. And see, and that came to a head last year when he allegedly made the minor son of Royce's boyfriend perform a sexual act on him while the two boys were in Royce's home. Now, in the documents, investigators confirmed that during the interview about him, um, about the incident, he stated that he made blah, 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 masturbate me because I was angry at him. And while revealing that it happened on two separate occasions, elsewhere in the interview, uh, ooh, Braylon said that anger triggers him to act out sexually. Now, that's not good. It's good that he's in therapy and he's able to express this because now what you're doing is you're getting a roadmap of his little mind. He's putting anger and sex together. And if that kind of behavior is not nipped in the bud or healed from, then he can be a violent sex offender. You, you, you get what I'm saying? How this goes together? Um, when he gets mad, he beats, he, he'll beats he beat his woman and rape her. Those kind of things. So he was forbidden by authorities to have any conduct, any conduct with minors two or year, more years younger than him. And so... The son of Royce's boyfriend falls underneath those restrictions. Her son and the minor child had been together multiple times throughout the last year, despite him being required not to do so. So again, that's one of those situations where she figured if she's in the house, she can let them go upstairs in the room and play video games by themselves. In response to her son's inappropriate conduct, Royce told investigators that he had been seeing a sexual treatment counselor at the True Core Behavior Solutions for the past eight months. However, when her son told the counselor about the incident, it was then afforded to the DCF. And that instance is how uh, Royce was charged with third degree felony uh, neglect on March 10th. So, as of now, she's only uh, commenting on an open investigation by posting on social media that she cannot further speak on the details and she shouldn't even have to be going through this. Yes, you should. Yes, you should be going through that. Because your parenting skills suck. And you care more about your behavior and your life as opposed to what the experts told you to watch your kids with. In some incidents, mothers and fathers don't know best because they haven't been parented. They haven't been parented in a healthy way. And they think that's okay. But it's not. There's nothing worse than a kid having sex too early, being molested, and forced into a situation that he shouldn't be involved in, introduced to stuff that they have no uh, 
recollection, no skill, no maturity, no kind of uh, uh, wherewithal to handle it. You got some grown people that can't even handle it. So I'm saying this to say, y'all, uh, most of these personality disorders we talk about being narcissistic, being a borderline, being a bipolar, all these things, these labels they give it um, is because of our childhoods and some of the, the things that we've endured, some of the things that have happened to us that were inappropriate that nowadays you'll go to jail for. You will be arrested for. Women are no longer men's property. Um, children are no longer your uh, creations to let uh, you do whatever the hell you will to them and let them observe and watch every freaking bad behavior that you could possibly have and subject them to that. No, people are starting to realize that kids are in hostage situations, basically. That Royce's boyfriend, her his son was in a hostage situation. Because every time his dad go over to see Royce, he got to go over there with a Braylon. I know how that feels. I used to have to go over to a cousin's house. And this cousin was always just you know, uh, um, aggressive towards me. And the thing about it is I had to be the one that said, oh, no, 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 this is diligent. Because at first I didn't know how. Because my mother was a young mother. She didn't that these were her sisters and her friends and her sisters and she didn't expect that um uh, the kids would be up there doing things like that see so i know how easy it could happen it's it's in, it's insane but i always said sometimes we don't understand the damage that those kind of behaviors do my mother, I don't know what kind of game it was that they played um, with her and her friends. And I remember being very small and I remember her sisters and her cousins and all them, my aunts and all them would sit around and my cousins and they would all make us show our body parts. What the hell? Nowadays, that would be straight up abuse. Straight abuse. Let me see how you develop it. Pull up your shirt. Let me see if you got some hair down there. All kind. Of, lift up your arm. Let me see if you got hair. That stuff is sexually inappropriate. And so for those of y'all who don't want nobody to tell you what to do with your kids, then you better learn that some of the stuff you we doing with our children, we're ruining them. We're putting them in a situation where they're being molested and raped. And that's what happened with Royce. Royce, I'm sorry. Or um, women who have allowed their sons and daughters to see so much because they've had sex all over the house and everywhere with different partners. So now their partner is molesting their children. Or their children are in situations for molesting their children. It's like a cycle. And it's a cycle that got to be broken. So my prayers go out to people in this situation because healing needs to come. And for the children that are in those hostage situations, I pray that they set free. Because uh, if it wasn't not for those who love these children and try to try to at least 
address the issues, man, our communities are going to get worse and worse and worse because nobody is addressing the disease and the cancer and the mental illness that is just permeating the whole environment. So with that being said, y'all leave y'all comments below. Um, and um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. This story touched home for me. In a lot, lot more ways than one. Especially with my group home background. See you in the next one.